that he, shouldn't he, stop he you. He don't like the American stuff. people either. We don't, that like, shouldn't stop you from getting stuff done. This might actually help people. Yeah. Nah, some stuff. Get, some stuff might actually help if you just work if with I get people. Transportation. What? Tampa Bay is the worst city in America with transportation. When, when uh, you see, when I you get, see, when you see a letter behind somebody's name and you say, "I can't even deal with that person," that stops progress so my middle finger goes to that particular part of the democratic party you motherfuckers are holding up a whole lot of stuff that needs to happen work with people that's let's get that right. shit together man so that's my middle finger for them mm. welcome to the middle finger club can you name all of them all swift charles <laughs> charles schumer charles schumer nancy pelosi and elizabeth warren welcome to the, the middle finger, finger club, club all of y'all yeah you can put pretty much say the democratic party right now Pretty much. Everyone's much. tripping. Everybody's tripping, folks. And these niggas is tripping. I got a middle figure. You. To ESPN for firing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Firing all those people earlier today. <laughs> Get them out of here. Get them out of here. <laughs> Welcome to the middle here. figure club. <laughs> hey, they're just trying to make room for Steph Curry. <laughs> that's that's like, what it is, bro. They're like, yo, we're gonna we're gonna run twenty four hours with Steph Curry. Just that's talking. talking you know, all the people everything. were saying to, to ESPN earlier today. Y'all don't what? love us. Y'all don't love us. Damn. You know you guys sometimes cut costs. Hey, man. I'm sorry. Is it early? Is it too soon? Nah. How it goes? Man. I don't know, man. I, I I honestly can't really. Yeah, I don't got one. No middle fingers from Boda Fool. Nah, it's been good. Not even me. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're close. You haven't done anything. We haven't streak is on the line. Far enough in the memory banks yet. Right. We haven't remember dug. Some, remember some stuff? Yeah. Remember when you told on me about the ice cream, man? Yo, you get right. middle fingers for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know about that. Check that out. That was pretty funny. So, yeah. So, who else? Anybody? Anybody? Brother Latino Heat. He's good. All right. I didn't even have that on. Can you say that again? Go ahead. I'm good. All right. Dang. The fuck Because uh, <laughs> I was getting feedback. Fuck you. Because yeah, you were being an asshole. You know what? Dang. Let's start doing middle finger. That's why he yeah. muted There you go. I knew it was cool. He was trying to get in there. Put me on mute. Oh, fuck you. He's saying, you know what? He's still alive. We're still here. That my mind. I was going to leave. You know what? I was going to be nice. But well, fuck you. You go back in the music club. Hey. There you go. What crisscross applesauce for you? Damn. <laughs> crisscross applesauce. Damn, Love it. Yeah. You can sit in that pee stain next to Donald Trump. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, he said sit Donald's pee. Oh, oh, damn. Yeah. Well, he is 71 years old, so I'm waiting for that to happen. <laughs> On stage. On, yeah. While he's raining. We're going to build a wall. Oh, crap. <laughs> Dang. So, I'm we're now we're sponsored by Pence. Yeah, Gino. Freaking, I just found freaking Kevin Gates got sentenced to 30 months in prison Who's for Kevin having Gates? guns in Chicago. Kevin and Gates. I'm like... Everybody's got guns in Chicago. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, like, they're gonna lock up. Wait, 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 wait a minute! You're a high profile. Wait, is that the same Kevin Gates that kicked that chicken in the chest? He's the same guy. So yeah, wait, payback. Who is that, <laughs> right, wait, wait, wait. Is, so is that, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, explain who guy? Kevin Gates is. Yeah. Kevin Gates is some one of these new rappers. Oh, okay. If you guys, Thank who, you. If you guys <laughs> don't know, the other people that know yeah. you know who Kevin Gates is. Whoever don't know is one of these guys that just rap crazy. And for what he had a tattoo in his face. Is he one face. of those mumble rap rappers? He, he's one of those. Well, he, oh, he can't just, really call him mumble just, rap. He's just shit rap. Yeah. Shit there you hop. go. There you go. So and like, he, um, that's and, you his know, actual. He got man. a huge following though. Yeah, huge he does. Following. He does. But like, um, he was doing time for kicking some shorty. He was in Lakeland. Did a show out here in Lakeland. Kicked some chick that was supposedly grabbing on him. And they, you know, did a little time, a couple months, whatever. Mm-hmm. However, well, apparently while he was doing that, and as soon as he got out, he had to go over. Served time in Chicago or whatever the case is because he had a gun charge or whatever, you know, the issue may be. I'm sure there's more to it, but I'm just saying, wait a minute. This is the fucking place that just like last week broke the record. Yeah. In like 24 hours or some shit, 29 people seven, they died. Had, yeah. And they had gunshot wounds. They had seven people killed over the weekend. Okay, all right. Like, uh, so a high profile. Whatever. Anyway, the judge and the whole fucking system that can't get the fucking shit right, that let pedophiles out in months, but yeah. motherfuckers that's holding guns to try to protect themselves or protect their lives or whatever the case may be, are in jail for fucking 30 months. 
Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So Marcus. not that I'm saying he I was support him. With battery charges. Yo, yeah. 2005, uh, 2015 for kicking a fan. There you go. Uh, I don't know. Florida like maybe standard. somebody out there can let us know. He used Florida stand doing. your ground law in defense. Yeah, that nigga used to stand your ground. But sorry, buddy, if you're not shooting little black boys, you're not getting out of here. Sorry. But uh, in the meantime, facts. Yeah, like so. I thought 30 months in prison was just a little much for a place they that's known. They wanted 10 years. They wanted 10 years. Yeah. Oh, my God. So, yeah, middle finger to the system that lets pedophiles loose, but motherfuckers that's trying to keep guns to protect themselves are going to be in longer. So, yep. middle finger to the system. Welcome to the middle finger club. You all you guys, all you motherfucking judges that let pedophiles out, but you let motherfuckers who just trying to live and not hurt nobody, fuck that. That's bullshit. If somebody died off of that shit, I could get it. But yep. if that's not the case, and motherfuckers just trying to protect themselves, come on, man. Chicago's nasty. Fix your city and before you worry about who's trying to protect themselves in your city. Facts. And I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Mic yeah. drop. Plop. Yeah. Gino out. <laughs> <laughs> so where are we going next, sir? Oh, word? Oh, I didn't know we were doing that. Yeah. That was uh, yeah. That's been been improv. Silly, right? Nice. Ohio Radio it's been a minute. Now, we just, just uh, last time, last time we did it, very hard to get through. God, that was thoughts <laughs> from the cage. One of the hardest ones to get through. With your host, DMX. She didn't hear me. Yeah. His life is crazy. <clears throat> I read from the book <clears throat> above. I turn to page eighty-six. Uh huh. So I made it my job. I did my robberies on a schedule. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to a rip and roll. <laughs> Just like the hustle. But I was a straight stick up. I'd rob three times a day. Before school, after school, and on the late night. <laughs> That way there would be three different groups of people to choose from. <laughs> <laughs> the morning shift was always really crowded. So that's when I had to do the pressure type of robbery. Just walk the same way as someone on their way to school and push up on their back. That went good. <laughs> or I just go down to the corner store where the kids always had money. Sure, he looks like he got about $5. <laughs> it's probably, probably enough to get me through the morning After school was cold Because when you didn't have all the people going to work around everywhere You just had to be careful That none of the yeah. kids hanging out late Saw you catch somebody from behind that tree <laughs> uh, <laughs> Now you feel me Or maybe I should finish that He got one more Let me talk to the third one real quick Yeah please do Then there was the evening Like 7pm I rob mostly old people at night. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> hey. He's young, bro. All right. They usually had more money on the way. <laughs> and it was more of a rush catching somebody twice your age. Whenever I got caught. Okay, wait, wait. Whenever I caught the last groups of people coming from the Getty Square, I hit it big. <laughs> <sighs> Now you feel me? That's my man. You know. And you feel me? Yeah, that's crazy. Savage. Bruh. Savage. I did my robberies on the schedule. Yo. <laughs> yo. This, this shit was classic. I thought he was going to talk about something like really important. He's like, you know, I want to be on time. I did my robberies on the schedule. 1,500 pedophiles have <clears throat> nationwide since Trump took office. Shout out to the Joe for that. Thank fact. you. As I... That's like the only good news I get to hear. As I read from the Book of Earl, page 207, bow your heads. Soon after my trip to Philadelphia, I was back in Valhalla Correctional Facility. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> my third day there, I spit in the face of a captain and was sentenced to a year and a month of solitary confinement. Oh, shit. They put me in lockdown block 3K. That was my house for almost a year. <laughs> Damn. Ray wow. Copeland was a social worker in Valhalla. He was also my uncle. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? 
guess you get no special treatment if family members work there. Nah. <laughs> the youngest of my mother's siblings, Ray had grown up in Mount Vernon, was close to his sister. They would speak to one another on the phone a few times a week and see each other at family gatherings. I didn't know where I was during those family reunions that he told me about because I didn't remember meeting Ray until <laughs> one night at Club Y. Wow. At a club. <laughs> Wa's girlfriend, Keisha, told me that some guy had come up to her claiming to be my uncle. But when I looked over at him, I knew he had to be related since he looked just like my Aunt Vern. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't talk that night. He looked like me. He looked like a bitch. And kept moving. <laughs> but a few months later, when one of the prison guards told me that he wanted to visit me in my cell, I let him in. <laughs> so weird. That's my man. You know. And you feel. Yo. Fucking shout out to DMX. Right? Damn. Crazy ass guy. stories. Ridiculously crazy stories. Anyway, damn. He's, uh, as we turn to page 138. The mall was closed. I was furious. Stanford was not Yonkers. Everything was all spread out. There were no other stores or people on the street. There were buses out in the parking lot. But we wouldn't know where to go and we didn't have no money anyway. So Forrest and I just followed the signs to the Metro North Station. Maybe we could hide in a bathroom or the train or hope for a nice conductor. Either way, I was getting the fuck out of here. A block or two away from the station... We saw a big crowd of folks standing outside a nice club. It was a Thursday night, and I could see that a few of the chicks on the line had some badass outfits on. And see this <laughs> music playing outside. <laughs> Me and Forrest went over to make it happen. <sighs> Fuck Daphne. I'm DMX the Great. <laughs> One of these bitches is going to give me some pussy. <laughs> No. No, he's worth the flies. Oh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> we hadn't been over there 10 minutes when Daphne and her girlfriend walked out. Couldn't believe it. The second I saw her, I got heated. What's up, girl? I yelled out to her. Oh, what's up, D? What do you mean? What's up, D? I <laughs> thought we were supposed to be hanging out tonight, Daphne. I've been waiting for you all day. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Something came out. <laughs> Now the people on the line started to watch the argue. You yes, sir? That's fucked up, Daphne. <laughs> Me and my man don't have a way of getting home. Or nothing now. I thought before I could finish, she cut me off. What you thought, D? That I was going to drive you home? Oh, shit. I never felt so small in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. That's my man. <laughs> no. She said it out, too. Then she made it worse. <laughs> With, what kind of nigga comes all the way to Connecticut with no money in his pocket? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yo. Yo, now you feel me. That's my man. You know. And you feel me. Yeah. <laughs> She's straight total. Yo. You going? Oh. Yo. He said, who the fuck comes to Connecticut with no money in his pocket? <laughs> the point is, like, that wrapped up everything. Because, like, in the beginning, it's like, where the fuck are you? Yeah. He's, he, he don't like this. He don't like that. Why the fuck you there? He got no money, nigga. <laughs> no one told you to go to Connecticut. He's like, I came all the way here for some pussy. Then it came here. Now, what I said earlier, we travel forever for some fucking poo chain. When you're young, it don't matter. <laughs> you say, when you say you live at Moss. All right, hold on. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> all right. As we read from the Book of Earl. All right, Grandma. <laughs> we read page 236. Uh-huh. Now, common street sense should tell you that if you see someone walking down the street as hot as it was with that kind of oversized jacket on, <laughs> you should probably get the fuck out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if you don't really know the person. But those young boys really wanted to get hurt that night. 
because it's 